Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the different types of law enforcement dogs. As always, please give the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more daily lists just like this one. Dogs have been domesticated to serve and protect man. One of the most hardworking members of the police force, which serves and protects civilians, is police dogs. They are also called canine officers. A canine unit is a specialized group of law enforcement officers who train and care for their canine partners while the dogs work to carry out the duties of enforcing the law. Types of law enforcement dogs. The two main types of law enforcement dogs are police dogs and military dogs. While both serve and protect, police dogs help in crimes and military dogs help in times of war. There are two main types of police dog work. General purpose police dog duties have the canine accompanying his law enforcement handler when responding to traffic stops, calls or emergencies and helps to apprehend suspects of crimes and accompanying in any other dealings with the public. Specialized canines additionally have the responsibilities of any specific job where the canine takes the lead. Sniffing for illegal drugs, chemicals or explosives identifying people who handle such substances, search and rescue for kidnapped or missing people, and finding hidden human bodies or body parts. The canine's job duties can therefore be divided into apprehension, detection, search and rescue, or patrol. Official specializations are narcotic canines, explosive gunpowder canines, or apprehension search canines. Detection dogs can search for narcotics or bombs and explosives, like their military counterparts. As for military dogs, they can be divided into single purpose, dual purpose, and multi purpose. Single purpose dogs sniff out explosives, narcotics, or humans. Those that sniff out explosives detect specific explosives, EDDs, or explosive detector dogs on leashes or, in the case of specialized search dogs, and are off the leash to detect explosives at long ranges. Mine detector dogs, MDDs, are also off leash and detect unexplosed ordnance and buried munitions. There are also narcotic dog detectors, NDDs, which differ from EDDs by specializing in finding drugs. Dual purpose dogs have either off the single task, plus scouting abilities, patrol explosive detector dog, PEDD, and patrol narcotics dog detectors, PNDD, are both used by military police and law enforcement in every service. Multipurpose military working dogs, also called multipurpose canines or MPCs, are mainly used by special operations for parachuting and repelling. They can wear tactical vests, night vision or infrared camera goggles and other specialized equipment. The most common type of military canines are sentry dogs, scout or patrol dogs, messenger dogs, mine dogs, tunnel dogs, casualty dogs and explosive detection dogs. On a wider scale, their work can involve duties and positions such as mascots, patrols, scouts and sentries messengers, leading assault force against mounted troops or attacking, trackers, haulers of machine gun and other supplies, bomb and explosive detection, search and rescue or search and report casualties, mine or tunnel detection dogs, law enforcement such as the National Guard in times of civil strife. Military canines have rankings. When they do, they are given higher rankings than their handlers. This is done because in the military, a canine is a non-commissioned officer, NCO, or petty officer, and the higher ranking is meant of a sign of respect. Law Enforcement Dog Training Law enforcement dog training is tough, and not all dogs pass. From a young age, the different types of police dogs and military dogs have obedience training, including is the ability to obey the following command. Sit, stand, stay, down, come, 
jump, go ahead, go inside, track, fetch, bite. Obedience training also includes the ability to perform the task of patrolling, drug detection, bomb detection, and or other scent tracking. Believe it or not, the K9's unit training doesn't end when they enter law enforcement. The training is continuous so that the K9 and the police officer can work in perfect coordination. Their military counterparts, too, have continuous training. Both the dog and their handlers must be certified every year, which includes daily obedience training and bonding. Law Enforcement Dog Breeds Certain dog breeds are favoured in canine work for the police and military depending on the job and the breed's strong natural abilities, such as German Shepherd or Belingen Melanos. A dual-purpose or multi-purpose law enforcement canine tends to be a cross of several breeds so as to have the more than one specialised skill. Here are the main pure or pedigree breeds divided by groups. Sporting Dogs Sporting dogs are hunting dogs. They help hunters in the finding, capturing and retrieval of game birds. Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever, German Shorthaired, Pointer, Sprinter Spaniel and English Cocker Spaniel are the most popular for canine jobs. They tend to be quieter, gentle breeds used for detection work, such as for explosives, hound dogs. Like sporting dogs, hounds are hunting dogs, except they pursue warm-blooded game using sight and scent. Basset hound, bloodhound, beagle are popular of the various types of detection in canine work. Working dogs. Although all canines are working dogs, the working dog group includes all breeds that were developed for protection and all physical work. Boxer, Rockweiler, Mastiff, Cane Corso, Siberian Husky are used in canine jobs involving security, providing transport or carrying supplies. Terrier Dogs Terriers were developed to pursue underground rodents and other vermin, digging them out and shaking them to death. In military work, they hunt down vermin in the trenches, but can also act as a messenger or scout, detect wounded soldiers, carry supplies, or attack while in police work they engage in detection and apprehension. Irish Terrier, American Pitbull Terrier, Black Russian Terrier are commonly used canine breeds. The Black Russian Terrier is a new breed that is a cross of 17 different breeds, including Iredale Terrier, Rockweiler, and Giant Susuna, and is used for patrol, mine detection, and search and rescue. Herding dogs. Herding dogs are used in canine work to use their natural herding and protective instincts on humans as well as their intelligence, loyalty and athleticism. Australian Shepherd, Border Collie, German Shepherd. The German Shepherd is used for security, apprehension, messengers and ammo carriers, while the Australian Shepherd chases after criminals and helps in search and rescue. The Border Collie was used as messengers sentries and wounded soldiers finders, but is no longer used. Life after law enforcement dog work. What happens after a canine is retired or is unable to continue law enforcement work? Having gone through obedience training since puppyhood and work extremely hard, they can retire from old age or negative behaviors resulting from their high stress jobs. They are typically ready to retire between seven and 11 years of age. Before Robbie's Law was signed in 2000, they were unfortunately euthanized. These days, however, they are adopted and they adjust easily to family life. Their handlers are the first choice, followed by other service members and then the general public. The different types of police dogs or canines are working dogs that serve and protect their handlers as well as civilians. Whether their job is to help in law enforcement or perform military duties, their obedience training makes use of their skills and allows for bonding between them and their handlers. They are extremely valuable in stopping crime and doing work that humans cannot do or cannot do as well as dogs. And that concludes today's video. As always, please give the video a like if you enjoyed 
and subscribe for more daily lists. Thank you and see you in the next one.